people do not realize that we are facing an epidemic of myopia. The prevalence of myopia in the United States has increased from 25% to 44% in the last 30 years and reached 80 or even 90% in some parts of Asia. This has to do with the explosion in use of portable phones, iPads, computers, but environmental factors only contribute about 30% to development of myopia. Population studies actually show that about 70% uh, is a genetic contribution. We found that uh, children who carry a certain version of the gene called APLP2 are five times more likely to develop myopia compared to those children which carry a normal version of this gene. But only those children which read more than one hour a day. Furthermore, we also confirmed uh, gene-environment interaction in the mouse model of myopia. So what we've done, we analyzed susceptibility to experimental myopia in the mouse model lowering the level of APLP2 expression has protective effect from myopia. So this, our study, actually shows that myopia is treatable disease. We just need to know more about the genes and genetic networks which underlie development of myopia.